Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going through exercise 1.27 from the Art of Electronics. And in this exercise, we need to prove that a circuit whose current is 90 degrees out of phase with the driving voltage consumes no power when averaged over an entire cycle. So firstly, I will go through this exercise in a visual form to understand better what we are doing when we go over the mats. The exercise is a little bit maths heavy, but I have explained what all the rules and the formulas that I have used. If you have any questions, obviously, please let me know in the comments section below. So let's start by looking at what 90 degrees out of phase means and what our current and voltage waveforms look like. Let's say we have a voltage waveform which has the equation sine 2 pi ft which you can see with the blue line on the screen right now. So it starts off at zero, and then um, somewhere around the first quarter of the waveform, it goes to its peak. In the middle of the waveform, it's at zero, and at three quarters of the waveform, it's at its negative peak. And then at the full cycle, so one cycle over here, it comes back to its original position. The question tells us that the current is 90 degrees out of phase. So 90 degrees in terms of radians is pi over 2. So 2 pi is 360 degrees. So what I've done here to plot the current waveform, I've done sine, I have done sine 2 pi ft plus pi over 2, so given a 90 degree phase to the current signal, which you can see with the orange line. So the orange line starts off at the maximum peak value and then goes through the entire cycle ending up again at the maximum peak value. And you can see the voltage waveform, the blue one, is 90 degrees, so pi over 2, out of phase with the current waveform. So if we were to shift this orange waveform to the right by 90 degrees we would end up over here. The power is basically the voltage times the current and we can plot this using just multiplying the two waveforms together and I've done that on Excel and you can see the result on the red line. So obviously at the beginning the voltage is 0 and the current is 2 so 0 times 2 we get a power output of 0 and as we go through the entire waveform, we will get nodes where the resultant power is at maximum, which you can see at this intersection here. This intersection here, obviously both of the numbers are negative, so you result, your resultant power is positive. The most important thing to note here for the question is the fact that the area under this curve plus the area under this curve is equal and therefore the integration will be equal to zero and that happens through the entire cycle so the positive cycles the two positive cycles that we see on the graph right now so this area and this area are equal to this area and this area and therefore the integration is zero so this is what we're trying to show with the maths as well um, you can just end the question here but I think it's good to look at the mathematics behind this so now let's go over the maths to show how the average power of the current and voltage waveform is equal to zero. I have noted some uh, useful equations on the screen, which we will be using when we go through the maths on the question. The voltage waveform, as earlier, I've defined as V0 sine 2 pi ft, and the current, I've made it 90 degrees out of phase using pi over 2, and I've basically got the same waveform. However, the peak or the amplitude will be determined by I0, which in our case I've set as two, but it doesn't really matter. So from our understanding before as well, the power is equal to V times the current, so the voltage times the current. And in this question, the voltage obviously is equal to this and the current is equal to this. So what I've done is just plug those into this equation here. 
So we get our power is equal to V naught sine 2 pi ft times current sine 2 pi ft plus pi over 2 as it's 90 degrees out of phase. Then factorizing the voltage and the current out of the equation and using the rule that I showed you before. So sine A times sine B is equal to all of this. And we are applying this rule to our equation here after factorizing V0 and I0 out. So when we apply this equation, we get cosine 2 pi ft minus 2 pi ft plus pi over 2 minus 2 pi ft plus 2 pi ft plus pi over 2. So our A in this case is 2 pi ft and B in this case is 2 pi ft plus pi over 2. And then all of that divide by 2 as determined by this rule over here. And then we can simplify this equation. Obviously we have 2 pi ft minus 2 pi ft here so they can cancel each other out. And then we have 2 pi ft plus 2 pi ft so we can put combine them together. And we basically end up with this equation here. Now the cosine of pi over 2 is equal to 0. So we can basically get rid of this section here. So it's 0 minus cosine 4 pi ft plus pi over 2. All of that divided by 2. So if you get rid of this, we end up with this equation over here. So you get V0, I0 times minus cosine 4 pi ft plus pi over 2, everything divided by 2. So this is the equation we had from the previous slide. So I've just made it, moved it over here so that it's easier to follow. Now we introduce an integration. This integration is given to us in the book and it basically is telling us that the average power is equal to 1 over t integral from 0 to t of v times i over dt. So the, the capital T in this case is the period which is equal to 1 over the frequency. Now, if you plug in our numbers, we know that V times I is equal to all of this over here. So we've basically replaced this section with that over here. So we end up with this equation here. Now, just tidying up this equation, we can move the 2 and the V0 and the I0 outside the integral. So we end up with this and it's a li little bit easier to look at. So I've also moved the minus sign outside. So I've got minus V0, I0 over 2 times the period. And the integral goes from 0 to t. And it is cosine 4 pi ft plus pi over 2. Now just to show you some rules. Um, when we're doing integrals for a cosine. The integration of cosine at plus b is equal to sine a t plus b over a. So this is the rule that we'll be following and applying that rule we end up with this. So you get the average power is equal to minus v naught i naught over 2t sine 4 pi ft plus pi over 2 and 4 pi f underneath. And obviously we're integrating this from t equals 0 to t equals um, the capital T which is the period or the one cycle time. So if you just correlate back to this uh, rule over here, uh, 4 pi ft is a, sorry, 4 pi f is a, and pi over 2 is b. Now multiplying this out, so to get the integration calculation, we basically replace the t as we are integrating with respect to t with capital T, and then minus that by the lower limit, which is 0. So what I've done here is replace the t with this and then for the minus 1 I've replaced the t with 0. So what we end up with is basically this equation over here. I have also moved 4 pi f outside the brackets into this section over here. So we basically end up with minus v0 i0 divided by 2 pi f capital T and in brackets we get sine 4 pi f t plus pi over 2 minus sine 4 pi f 0 plus pi over 2. Now f times t is equal to 1. 
So the anywhere where we have frequency times the time period, we basically end up with one as frequency is equal to one over t. So we get eight pi times one, so that will go to eight pi. We get four pi f t, so four pi times one, so that will go to four pi. And obviously we have a zero over here, so this will end up as minus sine pi over two, which you can see over in this equation at the bottom. Now bringing that equation to the next screen, so it's easy to follow. We basically, if we calculate the individual components in this equation over here, sine 4 pi plus pi over 2 is equal to 1. Sine pi over 2 is also equal to 1. So we basically get minus v naught i naught divided by 8 pi. And in brackets, we get 1 minus 1. So obviously that is equal to 0. And anything multiplied by 0, obviously we end up with 0. So what this is telling us is that the average power for this type of current and voltage waveform is zero. And that is the solution to our question. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.